Welcome and thank you for joining us for the final day of the Ellie Hurwitz Conference on Economy and Society 2020. I'm Lauren Iso. As you would expect, this year we are bringing you our three-day conference virtually. The Israel Democracy Institute has lined up some of the leading experts, academics and politicians from Israel and around the world to discuss some of today's most pressing issues and most fascinating ideas. Here are the highlights from day three. Health crisis, economic crisis, crisis seems to be the word of 2020. Days before the Knesset is set to disperse and send Israel to a fourth election in less than two years, Defense Minister and Alternative Prime Minister Benny Gantz opened our first session today, Governance in Times of Ongoing Crisis. He shared his thoughts on the unprecedented political crisis and what an action plan for the Israeli economy should look like. אני בעד שבמקום בחירות שיקפיאו את המשק לעוד חצי שנה שנה אפשר להעביר בזמן קצר תקציב שיכלול עשרות מיליארדים של השקעה בתשתיות הכלכליות בפריפריה ובמקומות אחרים ואם זה תלוי בי זה מה שאנחנו נעשה אני חושב שצריך להעמיד עשרות מיליארדים להחזרת התעסוקה ולשיפור הפריון להשקיע במיזמי תשתית תומכי צמיחה Dealing with a crisis that has never happened in our lifetime is a challenge for any government, and there are bound to be more than one opinion. The leader of the opposition, Yair Lapid, closed this morning's first session with his perspective on where Israel went wrong. Israel is a country of E. There are not many countries of E, but there are countries that you can see them through the sea and to manage the crisis in a way. Under all the conditions, E can be easier to be able to do more than what the government has done. בניהול המשבר, והסיבה הכי תקדמון הוא הדרך שבה היא בנויה, והדרך שבה ראש הממשלה מנהל את זה. זה לא ניהול, זה חלטורה, וזו חלטורה גרועה. At the end of the day, resolving a crisis is all about trust. Trust in the authorities, in the facts, and of course in one another. Professor Eugene Kandel, the CEO of Startup Nation Central and the co-chair of this conference, emphasized the importance of trust to recovery. על משאב אחד שהולך ועוזר לנו, והוא האמון. אובדן אמון פירושו השמדת הון חברתי. בעצם נראה שוויתרנו על אפשרות לחיות בחברה עם רמת אמון גבוהה. על מצבת, על מצבת האמון ישנן תביעות אצבעות של כולנו. משה בר סימן טוב is the former director general of the health ministry, filling the position at one of the most pressing times in the country's history, in the middle of a global pandemic. Well, after finishing his post following the country's first lockdown, he chaired a panel today and said that we must be prepared for an even bigger and more dangerous event, even if it's unlikely. Even if the vaccines are making us more optimistic in regards to the end of the event, we will be able to learn from what happened and again, to be able to learn from what else is going to happen. Learning lessons is a part of any crisis. It's important not only to learn from one's own mistakes, but to zoom out and get the bigger picture. In learning lessons from around the world, the IDI was honored to be joined by Dr. Hans Kluge, the World Health Organization's Europe Director. He noted the importance of interdependence that always exists between health and economy. Strong health system means strong health, means a strong economy and a strong security. And for our final session, local government versus central government, IDI hosted mayors from different sectors around Israel. It's true that every community is different, and no one knows a community better than its local leader. Aliza Bloch, mayor of Beit Shemesh, discussed putting the power into the hands of communities. On every department that Ayman Saif was also part of that discussion. He is the COVID project manager for the Arab sector of Israel. Just like Dr. Kluge earlier, he spoke about the importance of solidarity, but from a local standpoint, saying Arabs in Israel are being left behind without it. With that said, as many have reiterated over the last few days, there may finally be a light at the end of the tunnel, with Prime Minister Netanyahu set to be one of the first Israelis vaccinated in the next few days. And Health Minister Yuli Edelstein will likely soon be after. He says it's time to look ahead, and that he's been pleasantly surprised by the enthusiasm over getting the COVID-19 shot. I'm excited for the work. There are a lot of questions for the people. 
ידוענים, ספורטאים, אומנים, ראשי רשויות, דרך אגב, שאומרים, אני מוכן להיות ראשון בעיר שלי, בתיאטרון שלי, מה שזה לא יהיה. And that brings our conference to an end. Thank you to our viewers for joining us as we took you through the highlights of the Ellie Horvitz Conference 2020. I'm Lauren Izzo. Thanks for watching and see you back next year, hopefully in person.